Okay. Hello, guys. Hang on, I'm trying to fix my screen. It's not. There we go. Okay. I don't even see that. Maybe I need to tilt it out a little bit more. Closer, not that close. Okay. All right. This is my craft project that I've been trying to work on, but it's not working out. I don't like it. Um, it's supposed to be paper beads. I had, you know, how you get this in the junk mail. You get them little, like you get sales papers and stuff like that, and then they have one in there that has the pictures of all the different little checks, the pretty pictures and pretty colors of the checks that you can order your checks and get it in that that picture or that scene or whatever. <clears throat> That's what these were. And I, that was so pretty to me and I thought, you know, that would be beautiful probably as paper beads. And I had never before made paper beads. But I have watched for a long time, way in the past, way when I lived in Tennessee, a lot of videos of people making paper beads. And it looked so simple. And I just knew I could do it. And so I had saved that back for that purpose. And so I got to the point where, okay, I can make my paper beads now. So I tried it. And this is my paper beads, what I've come up with so far. So this is a styrofoam, and this is toothpicks. That's what they were doing to hold them on. So there's my paper beads. I don't really like these kind. The straight, big, fat, round ones. I mean, they're okay, and I won't mind some of them. But I was really hoping to get the ones that tapered off. Hang on a minute that tapered off and uh, my lights dim ain't it. It looks dark over here. Y'all are not gonna be able to see that very well. That tapered off and uh, you know, was fatter in the middle and went smaller at both ends. Well, this is them. But as you can see, notice, okay? Notice when I put it on there, the beads will not go down any further on the toothpick, okay? So, as I was gluing them, the hole didn't stay open. So, they're not going to be beads to put string and wire and stuff through. It just won't work. So, I have decided, I think... Now, let me tell you and show you the reason that's happened like that. I've seen somebody make, on a video, make some paper beads... Now, I don't know if this is that kind of tool. I've had this for a long time. I don't even remember where I got it from. You know, I don't remember. And usually if I get a kit with something in it, some kind of tool that's just for that kit, I keep my stuff together like that, okay? That's just how I am. I don't like to get anything scattered out and separated from each other and all this kind of stuff. So this may have been something that was given to me I mean, a long time ago, way back in Tennessee, in some Happy Mail or something, and I didn't really know what it was for. Now, this is all it says on it. It says Lake City Craft Company, but that don't tell me what it is and what you're supposed to use it for. I kind of feel like it's like a quilling pen, and you, you that paper you can cur curl up, because... The end of it, let me see if I can get y'all to see it. Do y'all see the little slit mark? I can't tell if you see it or not, because I'm not close enough. Let me do this. I mean, there's not much light on this thing. Anyway. Alright, let's see. Let me find it myself. Anyway, it's got a slit through it. Dummy, 
Use your paper in the show them. That way they can see. I can get it in there. Ah. See there? See, there's the top of it. And there's the bottom of it. That paper is inside that slit. But it don't go all the way. See, it stops right there. So it don't go all the way back here. Alright. They had something similar to this, but I'm not sure this is what they had. But I had this, and I said, hey, maybe I can use that. So I tried it. But when I do it, it makes it too small. And that's what's closing up my... I mean, as far as using it, I love using this. I feel like it is easier... Then just trying to twine it around a pencil, which is what some others was doing. I had this skewer, and look, I tried that, and my paper gets stuck on there. Okay, and I can't get it off. So, this is much easier to use as far as putting the paper in there, and then twisting it around. Okay, to get it, see, it's easy, and I can get it to go round, and you have to glue it. You have to keep it in the middle, and as it gets to the smaller end, which this one is not really cut the right, real small and narrow way at the other end. But it's easy to get it twirled around there, and you have to glue it in place, and I was gluing it, and then... This one's actually going to make just a... It's not making the tapered one. It's making a full round thing. But once you get it twisted around there and wrapped around and glued, and then you slide it off, somehow or another that's either too little... I thought I was seeing all the way through the holes. But somehow or another that's too little, and it's... Closing the hole up and I can't even get it all the way down on my toothpicks and I feel like I should be able to get it all the way down on the toothpicks so <clears throat> This is not working out for me And I really want to make paper beads But trying it with this again Let's see I thought I got my scissors out. Where's my scissors? I did I laid them over here I'm supposed to have a triangle. That's not a triangle. Now this is the widest end, and this end is narrower, but it's not triangled. I'm going to try and see if I can... On such little paper, I don't know how to go slanted to make a triangle, especially when it's so long. I want to go like way kind of cornered you know and that means cutting this short and going way off see there that made it way shorter but it was the only way i knew how to do it so then to try to do it on here you got to wrap it around Let me get my glue open here. I should have been a bit more prepared for this. I've got it all curled up now, and Butchie, you're going to have to wait. Momo is on video. So just give me a minute, please. I'm trying to put, put a little bit of glue right there. Whoa, that was too much. That's going to make it stick to my stick. And I didn't get it straight. And I know y'all can't see me because I've got it pointed at my face and sit it down at the table again. Or pointing straight at me. They say you just put a, you can put a little glue at the beginning 
and then keep twining it all around real tight and when you get to the end put a little glue there and if that's all you need but I kind of have a hard time keeping it together alright now let's see a little bit of glue I'll go down with it all right, it's still kind of moving on the stick. If that would glue down and stay down. Now, if I can get it off over these other, see, that's the problem. I've got these other papers stuck on these ends, and it won't go over. It's going to mess it up. i got to get something different. Now i got that on there and can't get it off. See what I mean? But there you go. Do y'all see it? No, you don't see it. Right there. I'm not liking my beads. Nothing I try that looks simple and easy that everybody else does. Nothing's easy for me. And it aggravates me. I want to do these things and I want to make them. And I want it to be easier. Easy for me. But it's not. And it aggravates me. So that makes it no fun. But I want to make these. So I'm going to try to keep working at it. i got to get me something different. I'm just going to have to... I don't know if I throw this away or try to keep it and maybe cut it up and use it for something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's the smallest one I have. So now what am I going to use? A big old thick pencil. I think a big old thick pencil is too thick. It makes the big hole. And I didn't want the big hole. I wanted a little hole. But this is a little bit smaller than a pencil. Any advice, any suggestions, any ideas, y'all please help me out. Put them in the comments below. I'm going to go. I think my dog needs to go outside. I'm going to try to figure out a way to do this. And when I get it figured out, if I get it figured out, I'll do another video and let y'all know. Okay? Okay. So I'm out of here until next time I'm going to go and do the loo.